you know, hi, my name is Jane Harrison. I'm Zess. I'm Halloween. And we are Nuwana. <laughs> is it pen works yet? Oh, yeah, you can. Alright, so we are Nulata, and Nulata, or Nutella Gelato is going to help small families who live in St. Louis, um, Missouri, by keeping them cool in the summer months with their favorite spread as a gelato. Our brand connects to customers by taking them by taking a widely fl favored flavor from a trusting brand of spread and incorporating it into a healthy treat for families. Our goal of Nulata is to end up in we want you to each other to buy us out, and so we can produce on a larger scale and be put in the grocery stores, such as Schmitz and Walgreens, where families can actually buy reasonable portions. Um, the story of New Lotto, we started out as just a project for a business class. We had to come up with an idea, and so we decided to test it in our class. It was successful. We spread it around the school, and so we decided to set up a stand in downtown Kirkwood. Um, we took surveys, and everyone liked us. We put our promotion in the Kirkwood Call and other things as such as the website. Um, the beginnings of Nuvada, basically, as I said, we came from a stand. We sold in little cups about six ounces for $1.50, which is pretty reasonable. Um, we didn't need to worry about distributors getting any profit because we would just make it and then take it to our stand ourselves, so it cut costs. We ended up with a profit of 70%. Um, in our first year, we ended up selling about 54,000 cups, which is like 300 people per day during the summer months, about April to October-ish. So that was really nice. The second year, we made, again, 70%, but it went up 6%, so we ended up with 350 being sold per day. Eventually, we ended up joining Tropical Moose, and we had three locations, and two in Kirkwood, one in Webster, and then one in Kirkwood. Um. Our product, Nutella Gelato, is, is Italian ice cream that is healthier than the average ice cream because it is more creamy, dense, and has lower calories and fat sugar. Um, these are the prices that we would like to um, sell our quart and pint of Nutella for. Um, comparatively to other brands that we have researched, we are significantly cheaper. As you can see, we're all the way on the far right for us, left for you, and the green. We lot we sell sold at five forty nine per pint, which is pretty reasonable considering we found others for close to twelve dollars. And then for a quart of Ulata, we like to sell for seven seventy. As the wholesaler, um, you guys would be making a forty two percent profit. So that's nice. Um, the place we put um, St. Louis because it has the second top ice cream sales, which is um, Hedgers, you know that. And then it also attracts a lot of travelers who might want to come and get our product, like you want to see like a zoo or something. Um, promotion, like Jade said, we're going to do like a little shack with like um, the downtown Kirkwood by St. Peter's, like with Tropical Moose. And um, we're going to advertise in the newspapers like Kirkwood Hall and like Kirkwood Webster Times. And then we're going to put flyers up on Okay, so what is it that you're, what, what is it you're ultimately wanting to do? We would like you to buy us out so we can sell to grocery stores. Mm -hmm. At what price? Um, approximately $500,000. Okay, and why is your business worth $500,000? We think our business is worth $500,000 because we've been around for a few years now and we've seen that people in Kirkwood, Buster, and Creekport enjoy our products. We would like to, we think that because we have already sold so much and we already have a pretty decent customer base that we think you'll be able to make that money up much very quickly. Will you guys continue to run the place or are we going to have to supply staff and operations as well? Um, we would like to be part of still creating the product since we kind of came up with it, but you would just own it completely. What would be our next step in growth as far as um, Kind of expanding from this this spot right here. From the grocery store spot, or so right now you guys are local, right? Yes. And then uh, are you in grocery stores or not in grocery stores? Not right now. Okay. What grocery stores do you aim at first? Shucks and Walgreens. Okay. Because Walgreens is like kids go there just to pick stuff up, and Shucks like more family type people go there. So. Okay. And then um, 
what is the potential growth outside of the St. Louis area in the kind of Italian dessert and ice cream gelato industry? What's the market demand for that in the United States? It really depends on which city you go to, but if you want to aim for like a little bit more other places that enjoy Italian ice cream, I'd say like <coughs> Arizona, it'd be like there'd be a million people there that would want to eat in Arizona, like Phoenix alone. And then if you want to expand to like bigger cities, you would just take that population and enjoy it. Italian, Italian, Italian. Good job, guys. Thanks. Thanks.